steadfast faith of St. Pope Innocent I, defender of orthodoxy. Explore the unwavering commitment of St. Pope Innocent I to the principles of faith and orthodoxy during his papacy. Join us on a journey back to the early 5th century, where the 40th Pope, Innocent I, reigned from 401 AD until his death on March 12, 417 AD. Born around 378 to 80 AD, Innocent I was raised among the Roman clergy and eventually became a deacon in Rome before ascending to the papacy. Early life and rise to papacy. Though his birth name remains uncertain, the Liber Pontificalis listed as Innocents of Albano. Innocent I's deep roots in the church and unwavering faith guided him throughout his life, culminating in his appointment as Pope at the age of 41. His papacy marked a period of staunch defense of Orthodox Christian beliefs and the assertion of the Bishop of Rome's primacy as the leader of the Catholic Church, defender of St. John Chrysostom. One of Innocent I's most notable acts was his steadfast support for St. John Chrysostom, the deposed Patriarch of Constantinople. Despite the controversy and political turmoil surrounding Chrysostom's exile, Innocent I remained a vocal advocate for his reinstatement, demonstrating his commitment to justice and orthodoxy, negotiator with the Visigoths. Innocent I also played a crucial role during the tumultuous times of the Visigoth invasion. He participated in the unsuccessful attempts to negotiate a peaceful settlement with King Alaric, showcasing his dedication to preserving peace and stability within the Christian world. Correspondence with St. Jerome In addition to his political and religious endeavors, Innocent I maintained a significant correspondence with St. Jerome, one of the Church's great theologians. His letters to St. Jerome reflect his theological acumen and deep devotion to the faith, legacy, and death. Innocent I's papacy ended with his death on March 12, 417. The exact cause of his death remains unknown, a common occurrence among early popes. Catholic tradition holds that a significant number of early popes, approximately 47%, died as martyrs, though Innocent I's cause of death is not documented as such. Conclusion St. Pope Innocent I's legacy as a defender of orthodoxy, advocate for justice, and leader during times of crisis continues to inspire the faithful. His unwavering commitment to the teachings of the Church and his efforts to maintain peace and unity remain a testament to his profound faith and leadership.